In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, today's readings illustrate how God chooses His ministers. He reserves a special place for those who acknowledge their unworthiness. Knowing their call is a pure gift from the Lord. God's servants then remain humble. May this celebration enkindle in us the desire to respond to God's call to service. My dear friends, at the beginning of our celebration, we once again call to mind our shortcomings, our unworthiness because of our sins, and so we ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Filled with the vision of God's glory, Isaiah confesses his unworthiness. God cleanses, strengthens, and sends Isaiah to the work of prophecy. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. 
In the year King Hosiah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne, with a train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. They cried one to the other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am doomed. For I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an ember that he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, See, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said. Send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. The Lord Jesus appeared to Paul and called this persecutor of the church to be an apostle. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received, and in which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved. If you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believe in vain, for I handed on to you as of first importance, what 
I also received. That Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. That he was buried. That he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. That he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, last of all, as to one born of normally, he appeared to me. For I am the least of the apostles, not fit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace to me has not been ineffective. Indeed, I have toiled harder than all of them, not I, however, but the grace of God that is with me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach and so you believed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Genesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and lower your nets for a cut. Simon Peter said, Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. Then came, they came and filled both boats, so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the cuts of fish they had made seized him and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang ganda ng binasa nating Ibanghelyo, Ang daming side story, ang daming po pwedeng 
tema ang pagnilayan po natin. No? And it speaks to us on several levels. But I would like to focus and I would like to invite you doon sa command ng ating Panginoon ki Simon Peter to go out into the deep and lower your nets. Go out into the deep and lower your nets. Bakit ito? Ito yung unang sumagi po sa akin kasi mahilig po ako mamaliki ng isda. At madalas, uh, paminsan-minsan pala, uh, kapunta ako sa Bulinao para mamalengke. Layo ano? No? Mura kasi doon at saka fresh yung isda. But when I went there last January, ang sabi ng suki ko ay, Father, pasensya na, mahal talaga ang isda ngayon. Eh, katatapos pa lang ng Pasko at malamig pa daw. Naalala ko, yung eksenang yon nung mabasa ko yung ebanghelyo at pinagahandaan yung maibabahagi po sa araw na ito. Sumagi sa utak ko yung mga kataga na andi dito sa, sa ating ebanghelyo, siguro hindi sila pumunta doon sa malalim at doon lang sa usual sila nangisda. Uh, I was tempted to, to say go out put out into the deep waters and lower down your nets. Put out into the deep waters and lower down your nets. Meaningful po yung command na yon ng ating Panginoon sa mga apostoles, talong lalo na kay Simon at sa kanya mga kasamahang mga mangingisda, sapagat they've been fishing all night Uh, I'm sure alam nila kung nasaan yung maraming isda. I'm sure alam nila kung saan usually nakakakuha sila ng maraming maraming isda. But during that time, walang makuha. So, they must have said, well, it's one of those days na wala ka talagang mahuli. Sa mga manging isda, may mga araw po talaga na ganoon din. No? Pagbilog ang buwan, pag mala tawag nito pag uh, malamig ang hangin ma, uh, malamig ang klima mahirap daw ma mangisda no uh, so Simon Peter they are already cleaning their nets and they must have said well it's one of those days sa mga nagnenegosyo maaring ganito yung sitwasyon may mga araw na matumal ang benta one of those days di ba Uh, sa mga nagpapasada ng jeepney, ng tricycle, minsan kakaunti yung sumasakay. One of those days. Maagang paparada, maagang magpapahinga. Yung mga negosyante, maagang magsasara ng tindahan sapagkat it's one of those days. Then here comes the Lord saying, No, go out into the deep waters and lower down your net. Ang ganda po ng, uh, ng instruction na yon ng ating Panginoon because the Lord is telling Simon Peter several things. Una, Pedro, Simon, dito ka madalas mangisda sa comfort zone mo, go into something na hindi mo pa napupuntahan, into something that might be a little bit dangerous into something that is unfamiliar to you. And do not worry, I will be there with you. Go there into the deep, the unfamiliar, and there lower down your nets. May mga comfort zone tayo sa buhay natin. May mga madalas tayong yun na lang ang gawin, ganun na lang yung maiambag, ganun na lang yung nakagawian, comfort zone. Sa ibanghelyong binasa natin, inuyug-yug yung comfort zone natin na yon, and we are being challenged to go out of it and to go into the deep. At kapag ka umaalis tayo sa comfort zone natin, nakakakaba. Hindi tayo sanay to go into the deep. But in the gospel that we read today, there is an assurance by the Lord, go into the deep 
because I was there, I am there, and I will be with you to go out of your comfort zone. Another thing na po pwede nating pagnilayan doon sa go out, put out into the deep, is an invitation to dig deeper inside. La tayo po ay mayroong tinatawag na threshold o hangganan. Uh, limbawa, hanggang saan ba ang pasensya niyo? No? Uh, kailan ba kayo bumibigay at sinasabi, halika nga, mabato ka na nga kita. Bus na pasensya ko sa iyo. May threshold tayo. May mga pagkakataon rin na sabi natin, ah, hanggang dito ka na lang, hindi kita mapapatawa sa ginawa mo. May threshold. No? Uh, meron namang pagkakataon na sasabihin natin na hindi ko na kaya. May threshold. Ito na lang ang kaya kong ibigay. May threshold. No? But the Lord, in His instruction to go out into the deep, is also an invitation to dig deeper. Hindi, meron pa yan. Pagkasasabihin natin na mukhang imposible na, the instruction to go out into the deep is an invitation by the Lord to all of us, hindi meron pa. Parang pagka sinasabi natin na imposible na, we hear the Lord saying, go out into the deep, at ang meaning noon ay, hindi posible pa. Hindi ko na kaya, give up na ako, to go on to the deep, ay paalala sa atin ng Panginoon na kaya mo pa. May panggagalingan ka pa. Saan ang gagaling yun? Yung to go into the deep ay isang pahiwatig din sa atin ng Panginoon na mukhang mas kilala tayo ng Panginoon kesa sa kilala natin yung sarili natin. Ha? Kilala kita eh. I was the one who created you. So I know what you can give. I know your threshold. Hindi lang yan. I know your kakayahan. Hindi lang yan yung binigay ko sa'yo. So go into the deep and dig deeper because it is there and I put it there myself. Dig deeper. Pagkasasabihin natin walang-wala na, hindi, meron pa yan. Pagkasasabihin natin na hindi, hindi na ako makakatayo. Hindi, buhat, bangon, tama na hugot. Kaya yan. Go out into the deep because you will discover God in that deepest moment. To go out into the deep is also a reminder that our God knows us more than we know ourselves. And in fact, He seems to believe, not He seems, He believes in us more than we believe in ourselves. Yung mga pagkakataon na pinanghihinaan na tayo ng mga ng pananampalataya natin, ano? No? But to go into the deep is a reminder to us of God's belief in us. Hindi naman kita papahamak dyan sa malalim, sa unfamiliar, sa unknown na yan. Bakit? Sapagkat sasamahan kita and in fact, I am already there. Ganda, no? To go out into the deep is an invitation to explore beyond ourselves. To go out of our comfort zone. Dangan kasi, madalas, may tendency tayo na kung ano yung pamilyar, kung ano yung nakasanayan na, kung ano yung nag-work, yun na lang. But to be a Christian is to be more. To be a follower of Christ is to follow Him even into the unfamiliar frontiers ng ating buhay. Because assurance for all of us, ang na ako eh. At saka, sasamahan kita doon sa kailaliman ng pinagdaraanan mo. Put out into the deep. And in the gospel, we also hear the words, Do not be afraid. Di ba? Do not be afraid. Sa kung ano man kinalalagyan mo sa buhay, malalim man yan, mababaw, but I am there with you to put out into the deep. So, hindi fair weather friends, hindi fair weather Christian, hindi fair weather believers, put out into the deep 
is an assurance that God accompanies us when we are in the lowest or deepest situation of our lives. Dito sa Manawa, gandaming kwento niyan. Tamang ko nga, baka isa sa inyo may ganyang kwento. Nagpa-check sa doktor, may bukol, na manataki ina, pa-check uli sa doktor, na wala. May mga pinagdadaanan sa pamilya, di na malaman kung ano yung yung paano susolusyonan. Dumaing dito, inihingi, magkaroon ng solusyon. To go out into the deep is to meet God there. And to go out into the deep is to rediscover also what God has planted in all of us. Madalas nakakalimutan kasi natin yun. Lalo na kapag kayinuyug-yug na tayo ng mga pagsubok sa buhay. Diyos ko, nasaan ka? Niwanan mo na ako. Asan ka ba? Sabihin ng Diyos sa atin, dito na ako, into the deep, waiting for you to accompany you and to remind you that even in the deepest aspect, in the deepest experience ng buhay mo, andyan ako. O kaya nga naman eh, ano yung nagresulta? When, when Simon Peter and then the, the fishermen no, lower down the nets, If you say so, I will lower down the nets. And because they believe that Jesus was with them and is the one who is commanding them to go out of their comfort zone, nung binitbit nila yung mga nets, it was at the breaking point. Punong, puno. A hundredfold. Ayang ganda ng Ibanghelyo, no? Bakit kayo dito nagsisimba sa Manawag? Uh, hindi ko kilala kayo. Pero alam ko, may mga tao rito na nasa deepest part ng buhay nila. Do not worry. Because we meet God there in the deep. We are accompanied by God in the deep. And not just to stay in the deep, but to get out of whatever we are in sa buhay natin. So my dear friends, when you hear God saying, put out into the deep and lower down your nets, it is asking us to be a little bit more generous, to have a stronger faith, to deepen our charity, and to continue hoping even if other people have given up on hope. O ano? Put out into the deep. Kindly all stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, Light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became, and became man. man. For, for our sake, sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, and spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father that we may live and celebrate the love we profess so that we may be known as disciples of Christ with humble hearts 
we pray, let your response be, Lord, let your love shine on us. Lord, let your love shine on us. For the church and civil authorities, may the Lord fill them with a strong and unselfish love that they may pursue justice and peace for all. We pray. Lord, let your love shine on us. For those who are unable to love because they have been badly hurt, may the Lord heal their wounds so that they may experience the happiness of loving and being loved in return. We pray. Lord, let your love shine on us. For priestly and religious vocation, may the Lord inspire more young men and women to follow him through this vocation of love and total self-giving, we pray. Lord, let your love shine on us. For those who suffer pain, illness, or disease, especially from the COVID-19 virus, may the Lord restore their health and turn the anxiety of their families into joy. We pray. Lord, let your love shine on us. For our departed loved ones, may they experience great joy in the loving embrace of Lord. We pray. Lord, let your love shine on us. We pause. We let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and their personal intentions. We pray. Lord, let your love shine. We also pause for a while and then we pray for the special intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag for their well-being, for their health and safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, let your love shine on us. We continue to pray for our frontliners, especially our health workers, for their guidance, for their health, for their strength. And we also continue to pray for our leaders, both in the government as well as in the church, for their enlightenment and guidance also, we pray to the Lord. Lord, let your love shine on us. Loving Father, you have chosen us in Christ to be your faithful people despite our sinfulness. May our prayers and love for each other bring us close, closer to you who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. <laughs> Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for through his paschal mystery he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race a royal priesthood a holy nation a people for your own possession to proclaim everywhere your mighty works for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts of powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partake on the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace.
Miss Neil. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold the Lamb of God, our healer. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who delivers the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. De hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us a call to serve others. May our political engagements for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, 
we have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice. Grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa pakikiisa po ninyo sa banal na misa. Patuloy po kayo makakaasa na mga panalangin namin magmula dito sa Minor Basilica at sa inyong lahat. At kami rin po ay humihiling ng inyong mga panalangin para sa lahat ng mga nagtatrabaho dito sa Minor Basilica and we continue to pray for one another. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in His peace and grant you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May He free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in His love. Amen. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Namas ascended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. We shall now say the praying, the prayer for the sick, yung mga andi dito, mga nasa bahay, nasa hospital, our relatives and friends, we include them in our prayers. And then afterwards, we will say the prayer for the blessing ng inyong religious articles. We say the prayer here, but we're going to ask the help of all the Eucharistic ministers to sprinkle po ng holy water ang inyong mga religious articles. So please stay put during the blessing. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor of the glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.